financial energy, kinetic energy, have you ever wondered why energy can neither be created nor destroyed? Hello, Psypals! I am Mom Jeanette C. Rodillas, your science teacher for today. In this episode of Agham Alam Hub, we will perform activities to demonstrate the conservation of mechanical energy. In addition, we will infer that the total mechanical energy remains the same during any process. Furthermore, we will appreciate the importance of energy transformations in various activities. In the next few minutes, we will explore science for another AH moment. that moving objects possess momentum. In addition to that, moving objects also have energy. You cannot do anything without energy. You exert energy while sitting, walking, or even sleeping. Apart from that, energy can be transformed from one form to another. In such transformations, energy is said to be conserved. One form of energy is mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is the energy acquired by objects upon which work is done. There are two kinds of mechanical energy. Potential energy is the energy possessed by objects at rest. It has two kinds. Gravitational potential energy is the energy possessed by an object because of its location or position. For example, a book on top of a table. Car parked on a ramp. Elastic potential energy is the energy stored in a stretched or compressed elastic material such as a spring. For example, the spring on the handle of a pinball machine has more energy when compressed than when in a relaxed position. Kinetic energy is the energy possessed by an object by virtue of its motion. Examples are a bullet in motion, a stream of flowing water, a rock falling off a cliff, roller coaster. The law of conservation of mechanical energy states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It can only be transformed from one form to another. Ah. A pendulum is held at a point A. At this point, the potential energy of the pendulum is maximum because of its height. While the kinetic energy is zero since it is held at rest. When it is released, the potential from point A to point B decreases because of a decrease in height, while the kinetic energy increases due to the pendulum's movement. At point B, the kinetic energy is maximum, while the potential energy is minimum. Then it swings to point C, with decreasing kinetic energy and increasing potential energy due to it being at a higher position. Then at point C, the potential energy is again maximum, while the kinetic energy is zero, just like it is at point A. As the pendulum moves continuously back and forth, the height decreases because other factors such as friction and air resistance cause some mechanical energy to be transformed until it eventually stops. When a body is raised to a certain height, the gravitational energy increases. And when it is released, the kinetic energy increases during its course of movement. 
Based on energy conservation, all the potential energy is converted to kinetic energy upon reaching the ground. The total mechanical energy is equal to the sum of the potential energy and kinetic energy if friction is negligible. The unit of energy is Joule. This time, let us do this simple activity on a pendulum through a simulation. Identify the positions where kinetic energy and potential energy are maximum or minimum. At what point in the pendulum is the potential energy maximum? That's right! At what point in the pendulum is the kinetic energy is zero? Correct! At what point in the pendulum is the potential energy is zero? That's right! At what point in the pendulum is the kinetic energy maximum? Correct! What is the total mechanical energy of the pendulum? That's right! Let's see another simulation. Points A and C have the maximum potential energy. The kinetic energy is zero at points A and C. The potential energy is zero at point B. Point B has the maximum kinetic energy. Finally, as the bob swings, the total mechanical energy remains the same. Ah! In this episode of Agham Alam Hub, we perform activities to demonstrate the conservation of mechanical energy. We inferred that the total mechanical energy remains the same during any process. We also saw energy transformations in various activities. Take note that when a body is raised to a certain height, the gravitational energy increases. And when it is released, the kinetic energy increases during its course of movement. And based on the conservation of energy, all the potential energy is converted to kinetic energy upon reaching the ground. Remember that the total mechanical energy of an object is equal to the sum of the potential energy and kinetic energy if friction is negligible. Ah. That's all for today, SciPulse! Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. See you again next week for another AH moment. Only here in Agham Alam Hub Palajan SciTech Portal. Bye!